chose the UK because my school offered a place in the school because I didn't really have any options uh, to go to other countries. But I think the UK is probably one of the most um, best choices because because of the language. I mean, everybody in the world speaks a bit of English or, or English. I think, especially in our business, the audiovisual business, it's like, uh, yeah, it started all in the UK, so it's uh, the opportunity to come and taste the future and the past. I graduated university last year and um, haven't found an interesting job I really into and I thought it would be better if I get you know another educational experience different from my previous um, major. And uh, I also chose for this experience because I think you quite you learn quite a lot as a human being, being somewhere abroad, being in a different culture, being with meeting new people and stuff. So I think yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I chose to be here is for the for the experience and especially the learning experience. It's the credit system. Um, but I think it's uh, the system in the UK is different from the rest of Europe because um, there is a, we have to do 60 credits in Belgium and I think also in the rest of Europe and here you need I think 120 credits and so we uh, have to do the double here to have enough credits uh, back in Belgium and also the way they teach here in Ravensbourne is different, uh, different because um, it's much more personal and they treat you much more like a professional. This school it's a lot more focused on uh, professionalism where in Belgium our school is kind of like not entirely but it's a bit more academic because we still have um, exams at the end of units um, we still have like yeah close lessons uh, where we have to take notes and then we get graded for stuff like that where in this school they actually um, treat you like young professionals in, in a professional way so I think this school um, really prepares you on what goes on in the professional world so once you graduate here I think you'll get the hang of how real life is instead of how life is in the school that's the main difference when you study somewhere else than in Belgium it's, it's, it shows a bit of motivation of the person and I think you can go much f uh, further than when you stay in Belgium and stay with, uh, with the things you can do there. So, yeah. I think it was quite highly perceived like 10 years ago. But I don't think it's that um, valuable nowadays because a lot of students already studied here and they got degrees and here so I think it's kind of, we called it like kind of inflation of degree because you know more and more students got degrees in abroad and it's quite common especially you know in big companies like Samsung or LG like global companies they have lots of employees who have degrees in abroad. Yeah, it's m more than worth because uh, to do this, of course, it costs me money. But when I hear what you guys have to pay, it's um, yeah, it's one tenth that we pay. So it's really worth it. And if if you choose for what you like to do and what you want to do in the future, it's worth every penny, no matter how much it costs. If it is what you want to do in the future, it will certainly pay back in, in some way. Actually, um, I'm doing um, Erasmus and the Erasmus um, system is I pay in Belgium and 
the government pays uh, for the school here, so I don't pay anything here except for uh, my house and my room and for my food. But, and I think the education in Belgium is much, much, much cheaper than here. So I, I think I pay one, one sixth of, of what you normally pay here for one year. I do for four months, but it's 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 still it's it's quite expensive to live just in London, but. Just for the education, it's, it's a good system to do Erasmus. For the student who come to England, should be prepared um, to be kind of strong, because I think British are quite repressive in some ways, <laughs> so you should cope with that. I think you have do everything you can here and learn as, as much as you can but you must be careful that you don't lose the grip on everything you do. Any advice I would give them is book your rooms way in advance um, because we found our rooms in September and all the good rooms were actually taken so we're staying in quite not, not a good place um, because the problem is London is really filling up in September because all the international students are coming down here so my best bet would be just come over here during summer holiday um, for a weekend or a week try to get a hold of some numbers through websites and phone those people and, and arrange meetings so you could have some good rooms because yeah housing is quite important you have to stay calm and organize everything and focus on, on the things you want to do and want to learn and give everything you can to do that. Just taste it and be motivated. Don't think of high pressure because the pressure is high here. Um, just enjoy it. See everything as a challenge and not as pressure. And um, absorb as much as you can because when you get in, back in your country you'll be uh, one or two steps ahead of some, somebody else.